I am optimistic. I'm, I'm guardedly optimistic, and I'm not saying I, I'm expecting tomorrow, tomorrow, like out of Annie. Uh, uh, but, yeah, I, I, see, uh, I see steady progress over the centuries that have gotten us to where we are, and I see no reason why they can't continue short of uh, Armageddon. Uh, one of the problems that stands in the way of progress is that we're not very good at what the business people call doing due diligence. We're not very good at figuring out the probable consequences of decisions that we make, and not only the good things that we're hoping for, but also the possible collateral damage that we don't really want to happen, but happens. So, of course, any progress that we continue to make is going to be always at risk of there being collateral damage and maybe even regression or, or harm uh, if we make bad choices in what we're teaching our children and what we're writing into law and what we're trying to habituate ourselves to. And one could find examples of that in the 20th century with various experiments of uh, oh, socialism, uh, the welfare state, uh, free education for all, uh, all kinds of, of different, you know, very uh, high-sounding goals. Uh, you know, why can't we provide absolutely all the medical care anybody needs at any time, whatever, free? Well, that would be really, really cool, wouldn't it? One of the things that goes with that is fraud massive fraud and the amassing of untold fortunes uh, by people who are, oh, manufacturing motorized wheelchairs for people for whom the government will pay for them, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera.